What up Virgo Legacies, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are returning, thank you. This is gonna be a you versus them reading. So we'll really take a look at how you feel, how they feel in the present, in the future, okay? So I'm gonna be using the Radiant Tarot to pull your message. I'll go back and forth between the Radiant and the Constellation Tarot, which is a beautiful mix because it is like the sun and the stars. Okay, so, cause there's a yin and yang here for sure between you and them Virgo. Them can be your ex, your partner, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, a friend, a family member, however you wish to apply it. You'll note this message is for you. First card out is the five of wands, Virgo. A little bit of conflict or disagreement here, uh, a lot of competition perhaps. I feel like you may have had a recent argument as of recently, as I feel the energy of the card. There's a little bit of bickering, right? You look at these birds, they're kind of almost polar opposites, right? One's red, one's green. There's definitely a dispute, some type of argument here. So if you've heard birds chirping or disputing outside today, this is a very strong symbolism for that. Obviously, this dispute was over something emotional, right? Because the King of Cups is someone that's very emotionally sound and very emotionally balanced. And while he is diplomatic, he or she is diplomatic, wise and devoted, I feel like you were the bigger person within this dispute, this recent uh, disagreement. Sometimes you just have to agree to disagree, I'm hearing spirits say. But for the most part, you still maintain the swans, you know, swimming around you. You still attract this person. You seem to be the logical person within this relationship. And this is why you're wearing the crown, right? This is why you are the King of Cups, Virgo. Because you know you have to hold dear to yourself the memories and the history that is involved with this, right? You can't just in the blink of an eye because of a petty dispute, like let something so significant go. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, another little pigeon some type of bird here with the five of swords so again some type of conflict tension right there's still tension that exists here most definitely it's almost like there's a little bit of stress right because you guys aren't used to fighting virgo you aren't used to getting into some type of disagreement or dispute but then it's followed here by the Four of Cups. So there is a disconnect here. There is something that's discomforted. There is this lack of empathy. It almost feels like it's, I feel like this is more so you for them. Like, it's almost like we've talked about this. I've counseled you. I've given you really relations. I've, We've gotten really good relationship advice from friends and family. Like, why can't you just let this go and leave it behind, right? It's not something significant. Like, I didn't cheat. Like, I wasn't talking to someone else. Like, this was just a simple disagreement. Like, if we can't establish and move on from simple disagreements in our relationship, like, what, like, this, all this is telling me is that we're not going to be able to do this in marriage, you know, in something official, something long-term. Let's use the Constellation Tarot and let's pull cards for them, Virgo. This is present energy. Let's tell me where they currently stand, Spirit, for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups also and the Three of Swords. Okay, a lot of synchronized energy here. I just pulled the Four of Cups for you. Same goes for them, but they have the Three of Swords with that. So 
it's almost like I feel like you're a person that takes things way too personally, Virgo, right? I mean, it's they're in this stage of like, oh, like, you broke my heart, you know? And it's like, while it's not no laughing matter, it's kind of just like, bro, like, we had a simple disagreement. Like, it, it, it's not for all this extra shit you're doing. Like, just, you know, put your big boy pants on, you know, get your, you know, pant your get your panties out of a wad, like, Let's move on, right? It's uh, it's it's pretty clear, 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 clear coat, clear throat. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I'm like, spirit, what are you trying to have me say? Like, I don't even like. I'm like repeating what I'm hearing, but like some of this stuff I'm hearing, I'm like, am I saying this right? We have the Knight of Swords followed here for them. There's a lot of opinions. I mean being made they could be indirect but there's so much impatience towards this person right i feel like this person seeks perfectionist perfectionism within a relationship and if there is any slight minor detail that doesn't amount to his expect he his or her expectations then they go down this like rabbit hole where they kind of are just digging their own grave um spirit tell me more for them yeah, see how those cards just like, they split up. You may have had a recent separation or some type of distance being placed here, especially with the two of pentacles here. Yes, spirit. Yes, I love it when they confirm what I'm channeling here, right? What are you trying to seek balance in, right? Because there's this need for them to be adaptable, right? To be flexible. But I feel like they're really stretching themselves to kind of put this behind them. But then we have the Earth card here. Look at this beautiful picture mural. This is that perfection I'm talking about, right? They really seek a relationship that is perfection, right? And it's like these are things... Or these are moments that sometimes you can only find in fairy tales or in movies. And while that is possible in reality, it takes time to build that. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not possible. It's definitely possible. But it takes hard work and it takes, you know, effort on both parties. This can't be done by just them. So let's look into the Earth card here. Let's see what this has to say. Okay, so the Earth card is the world in the traditional tarot. So the Earth, Virgo, this is where they stand or think, is our physical world, which gives us life, food, and shelter. Challenging, beautiful, and endlessly diverse. It teaches us that everything is connected, material, and immaterial. Yes. So I'm very much so channeling here the multiverse universe. I feel like this person is very spiritual who you're dealing with, Virgo. And I think this is why they strive for perfection so hard is because they know that there's so much more to this world and they, they want to share this with you. The earth or the world is the final card in the major arcana. It is the grand completion of all that came before. A big chapter has finished its cycle and you have moved up. Important lessons have been learned and integrated. Your worldview has changed. Your perspectives have expanded. You are not the same person you were and you are now better equipped for the next stage of your life. The earth is our whole physical world. But at the same time, it is just a tiny part in the entire universe. World. It is all about perspective. This card is about completion in a way that is full of new opportunity. It shows an expansion of life and an opening of the mind. 
It is a time of celebration, joy, and new horizons. So there's a very strong full circle moment happening here. I feel like this is going to be a very strong learning lesson, this dispute, this disagreement. Um, your person is going to come around Virgo because they have such an expanded view on this world. I feel like they're they're going to be coming to uh, a moment in time in this multiverse where they're going to understand that this dispute is just a very tiny, insignificant uh, matter in in the grand scheme of things. Let's get uh, cards for you. the hanged man okay so every way you look at this card there's so you, both of you here are changing perspectives right if you look at this card this way these look like roots he looks like he's standing on one foot galloping over this tree if you look at it this way these look like roots and it looks like he's dangling from the branches right Both of you are changing your perspective and this is beautiful because essentially you guys are healing and learning on the same wavelength, on the same vibration. And you guys are both coming full circle and coming back around to each other. With the Eight of Swords here, don't isolate yourself. Don't try to victimize or feel powerless, constricted, trapped within this disagreement because it's uh, limiting the possibility of learning or using this as a learning lesson in your life. You have the possibility to transform like this beautiful blue butterfly. Some of you may really enjoy sapphire as a gemstone or may have jewelry with blue. Right, A lot of you Virgos really enjoy blue. It's something that really sticks out to me here. It also tells me that you're highly within your third eye chakra, okay? So you're protecting yourself. You're opening yourself up to this multiverse. You're understanding that there's such a bigger conscious. And it's only a matter of time before you tap in as well and become one of the one. Yeah. We will wait. Temperance card and the lovers. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, you guys are coming full circle, okay? Temperance, this is a divinely protected relationship here, right? There's balance. There's the ability to move past things here. I mean, look at this beautiful matrimony here. And I say this because you guys will be reading your vows. Look in the background. You'll be reading your vows to each other. We have like this bow and arrow being shot here by Hermes to you. Hermes, Hermes. This is a forever love. Right, This is bound to happen. It's happening in the near future. And this is something that your significant other is planning, right? He's mixing his potion with yours. And this is becoming part of the one that I was talking about, right? You're angelically protected. I'm hearing Archangel Michael here in this situation. There's so many heavens, right? And I feel like you're stepping into one of the heavens here, right? To make a vow is to make such an important uh, decision, right? It, but for some of you as well, some of you have been married before. And I feel like this is there is a little bit of hesitation on your part with the Eight of Swords, where it's like, I've been here before. You know, they haven't, but I feel like you have, or maybe they have and you haven't. 
and it's it's almost like they're i mean they're obviously a forever romantic because this is such still a priority in their life but i'm strongly picking up on them also being slightly hesitant because they realize that they didn't want to make the same mistakes they did in their last marriage ten of pentacles okay we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, Columba, we'll read that card, and we have the King of Wands, yeah. They've envisioned this future with you and they're sticking to it. They're gonna be bold and they're gonna really you know, dance around the decisions about this, okay? The Six of Swords is not going to interfere in this situation, okay? Because there's progression. And as long as you have progression, it's going to be fruitful. There's a lot of pride here to make you theirs, Virgo. There's a lot of pride here to make you theirs. And with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, this is just confirming that your future is going to be bright. It's going to be uh, luxurious. It's going to be comfortable, right? You're not going to be living paycheck by paycheck. You're not going to be extending or stretching your resources. This is going to be a lifestyle that you've always dreamed of having. And this person is willing to give this to you, right? Because they want to give you happiness, they want to reward you and they want to introduce a legacy here into this relationship, right? They want to provide stability. They want to give you a privileged, a privileged life and they want to give you a legendary view on the new possibilities that this world has to offer you. Let's read this one. This is the first card in the major arcana energy. Um, it's Col Columba. It's also called the Dove. So it's essentially the full card, right? Zero is always the full card. Columba is the Dove. Noah sent from his ark to see if there was any dry land left after the great flood. The Dove returned with an olive branch in its beak signaling that the flood was receding. A Greek myth tells of a dove sent by the Argonauts to fly through the moving rocks at the Black Sea. Remember that story? I think I read that in the Iliad or the Odyssey as well. But the dove flew through with such speed that the rocks crashed against each other, leaving the bird unharmed. The Argonauts had thereby ensured their safe passage ahead. The Dove or the Fool card is placed first in this deck, but it can actually be seen as falling outside of the major arcana structure. It is the number zero, both the beginning and the end. Before anything comes into being, it first exists as potential. It is pure, unformed, and infinite in possibility. This card symbolizes a fresh new beginning, a new chapter in your life, Virgo. It is a venturing into new unknown territory without fear, but also without full knowledge of what awaits. It takes courage and complete trust to step forward taking a leap of faith, entering a new situation with great potential, but also risk, innocence, and experience a new chapter. There's a new chapter here that's about to unfold for you. And this is going to be forever, immortality, infinity, I love you times infinity, forever and ever. If this message resonated, Virgo, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already.
knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. And most importantly, Virgo, you already know, don't forget to live out your best look. Go, so